Good day, everyone. It is good to spend this moment with you. There are many times that I find where other people's words are much more sufficient than my own. And so with that, I'd like to share something from Jennifer Yeager, who is a licensed professional counselor and the owner and clinical director of Sea Glass Therapy in Noonan, Georgia. She says, Living through this pandemic is a trauma, and parts of our brains have shut down as a coping mechanism. With our brain's response to the trauma, we are not able to fully process what is going on around us. This may lead to feeling numb, out of touch with emotions, anxious, or depressed. Additionally, our brains are wired to use past experiences to help us predict what will happen next. And during this time, as the world navigates the uncertainty of COVID-19, our brains are unable to pull from past experiences to make sense of it all. This is new for us all, and we don't have any past experience to rely on. Here are some tips to help you handle the uncertainty and anxiety. One, be patient and kind with yourself when you're feeling down. Two, have empathy for others who may be struggling and may not always be their best selves right now. We need to give each other grace in these difficult times. Three, name it. If you're feeling sad, down, nervous, angry, say it. Express it. Four, don't fight what you feel. Give yourself a time limit, and for that time limit, embrace how you're feeling, and then do your best to move on. Five, try something new. Prepare a recipe, take a walk, meditate, or breathe. And number six, bring something back. We all have things that we used to do, that we loved, that we lost time for along the way. Bring it back. This is a great way to relax and can lift our spirits. Thank you, Ms. Yeager, for these powerful words, and let us pray. God of peace and transformation, hold us in your embrace as we do the hard work of being human. Amen.